In this video, I would like to present a position that I would like to call pronatalism. And it is a position that I would like to present to you that shows why it is necessary for us to ensure not only that life continues, but that it, that it proliferates and that it becomes more ubiquitous. And this is how the argument goes. We all know that pleasure is a positive thing. We all enjoy pleasure. Pleasure is experienced by any organism. It's the definition of pleasure that it is pleasurable. Now, if pleasure is a good thing, then we can objectively state, without any equivocation or any sort of, you know, ifs and buts or maybes, that no pleasure is by definition worse than pleasure. Now, let's look at life then. We can observe that if there is life, then there is the possibility of attaining pleasure. As long as there is life, there is a possibility of attaining pleasure. Whereas, of course, where there is no life, there cannot possibly be any pleasure. So, in other words, if we are preventing life, we are preventing the possibility of pleasure and replacing it with a certainty of no pleasure whatsoever. As a result, we must conclude that the absence of life is by necessity and logically worse than the presence of life. And the concluding argument, the concluding pronatalist position must therefore be that we must ensure that not only does life persist and continue to exist, but that it proliferates and spreads as far and wide as possible in this universe. And that, in a nutshell, is the pronatalist position. Thank you for watching.